Imagine living in a world free from genetic disease. Well, today I'll share with you a company that might be the solution to this problem. So you'll discover the biopharmaceutical company CRISPR. And so I'll be doing a full stock analysis on this company where I'll start by analyzing what is their business model. And after I'll make a quick fundamental analysis followed by a price prediction to see if this company is currently under or overvalued. Without losing too much much time, let's get to it right now. Before you understand what this company is, you must learn about the name of it. CRISPR stands for Clustered Regularly Interspaced Short Palindromic Repeats. This actually represents a family of DNA sequences that are found in the genomes of prokaryotic organisms such as bacteria and archaea. These sequences that are actually found in your DNA are actually used to prevent and also to fight different virus and bacteria. So so just keep in mind that it acts as a natural barrier against the process of a bacteria becoming a virus. As you can understand, this company is basically editing human genomes to be able to treat and eventually cure genetic disease. This process is notably fueled with their new platform CRISPR Case 9, which is actually a platform that is a genome editing tool that makes genome editing simpler, faster, cheaper, and more precise in comparison to other genome editing techniques. So with their 400 employees all around the world, they are working on a revolutionary treatment that would treat the problem at the roots instead of just working the different symptoms of it. And with the global aging of the population, people will need more and more of these kind of treatments that might save a lot of lives in the future. So it is why over the last couple of years, we've seen a massive boom in this particular sector. On their side, the investors could see a great opportunity by investing in CRISPR, by investing in a company that has a certain risk due to its market that isn't yet profitable. But at the same time, this company has established itself as a leader in that field over the last couple of years. And so with a market cap of about $4 billion, you can understand that this company is quite volatile at the moment. And this company is acting in a very controversial sector due to its potential pitfalls and its ethical considerations. So this stock is a very high risk, high reward play. Indeed, over the last couple of years, we've seen that the volatility of this company has been through the roof where it has gained about 400% between 2020 and 2021. But since then, we can see that this company has lost a lot of value due to the overall economic conditions that have notably hit the different growth companies, which is mainly due to the retreat of the investors from all the different speculative stocks. But now, how does this company is able to generate some massive revenue that have been growing on average of about 49% over the last half decade? Well, in fact, despite this great statistic, like most early stage biopharmaceutical companies, this company isn't making any big revenue on their part because their medicine isn't ready to be sell yet. In fact, since they are still in the development phase of their different medicine, they don't currently have the requirements needed to sell them. But thanks to its drug development partnership with Vertex Pharmaceutical, CRISPR is getting paid for many kinds of different projects, about $900 million at the moment. So you can understand that the investors are trading this kind of company on the news and on the information that they have on their different treatments and on their medicine, rather than base their decisions on different financial ratios and on different earnings reports. So it is a crucial information to keep in mind, especially when I'll be doing my price prediction and my fundamental analysis later on in this video. But at the moment, keep in mind that this biopharmaceutical company isn't yet profitable. And so as most unprofitable business, this company is focusing as much as possible on the growth of their revenue. Plus, this company has been talked a lot lately, notably because of its partnership with Vertex to develop a gene editing therapy, which would be considered as cost-effective for $1.9 million. And this has notably pushed the analysts to increase their buying range for this company, notably with the Bank of America that has put its buying range to $116 per share. So it looks like a very promising company for the future that has also been on a great momentum lately. But now let's see what the fundamental metrics of this company are telling about it. 
in valuation terms, as you can see, this company currently worth about $3.42 billion. However, with a super high price to earning ratio of about 124 at the moment, which is once again illustrating the fact that you must be willing to pay a lot compared to what is the earnings that this company is able to generate. And this is super well represented by their incredibly bad profitability with a no rating margin of less than 56,000%. And you can also see that both the return on assets and the return on equity are also horrendous. Plus, with their super poor earnings of about $1.2 million over the last 12 months, we can see that over the last quarter, their revenue growth have been diminishing compared to the same quarter but in the last year. But in my opinion, the best fundamental news about this company is the number of cash of about $2 billion compared to their super small debt of only about $244 million. And as I told you earlier, this company is extremely volatile with a beta on a 5 years period of close to 2, so it's pretty much 2 times more volatile compared to the overall market. But still, over the last 52 weeks, we can see that it has lost about 10% compared to the market that has lost about 7%. Unfortunately, as you can see, their total revenue have been massively fluctuating over the last 4 years. And add to this, you can see that their total expenses have also been massively increasing, which has led them to receive some lower earnings before interest and taxes over the last 4 years. And the scheme is pretty much the same in terms of their cash flow, where you can see that their operating cash flow have been massively fluctuating, which have obviously lead to a massive volatility in their free cash flow. And as always, to determine what should be the true value of this company, I'll be using many kinds of valuation models to help me out with this task. Starting with the Peter Lynch valuation method where we'll be adding the future growth of the earnings per share with the dividend yield and that we will come divide by the price to earning ratio. And with these hypotheses, you can see that the results is showing that this stock would be massively overvalued at the moment. Now for the second valuation model, which is a dividend discounted model, we won't be able to use it unfortunately since this company isn't giving any kinds of dividends to their shareholders. And finally, for my last valuation model, which is the discounted cash flow model, I'll be simply discounting all the cash flow from this company with the discounted rate, which is our weight average cost of capital. So as always, we'll find what is the weight average cost of capital by finding the cost of debt, the cost of equity, and the cost of debt and equity. So in that case, our WAC is close to 12%. But unfortunately, since I told you earlier, we've seen that the free cash flow of this company in the last year were negative, meaning that when we come project these cash flows in the future, they will all be negatives. And so when we discounted all those cash flows, we can see that our intrinsic value is negative. As you've been able to see in this video, despite not being a profitable company that has not a lot of financial stability at the moment, this company might be very interesting for investors that are looking to invest in tomorrow's medical environment. In fact, if the treatments on which this company is working on lately are approved in the near future, this could actually transform the treatments of many different chronic diseases. But keep in mind that by investing in that particular company, you are investing in a highly volatile and speculative business, meaning that obviously you can make banks from this operation, but you can also lose all your money in it. So on your side, if you're looking for great companies that have more stability and that are also offering some massive dividends, well, check out the video that's going to be right over here and I will see you soon. Peace.